Eventually we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. Tesla Semi has never been sold at $180,000. It is more expensive, and Dan Priestley confirmed there will soon be a new version for this big rig with a price big enough to make the transportation industry race more fire. Compared to other Tesla models, Elon Musk has always been secretive about Tesla's price, even though the quantity is only about 100 units currently, but we have good news that Semi trucks are being produced again at Giga Nevada before sleeper cab version release. Vice President Tesla Moravi has also directly confirmed this. How's Tesla reproducing the semi before releasing the new version? This information continues to come from Henrik Zane, a Tesla semi advocate covering Giga Nevada drone. He indicated that the production of Tesla semi trucks seems to be restarting at the experimental facility after a long hiatus. According to the latest information, while awaiting the construction of the large scale production plant, Tesla's continuing to produce an additional 500 to 1,000 Tesla semi-trucks at the Nevada factory. Not only are they producing additional small quantities, but Tesla engineers are also refining the design to begin manufacturing more Tesla semis at the production plant. Of course, when mass production begins, it will begin with the new version, the sleeper cab. The positive signals regarding the resumption of semi-truck production in Nevada have been reaffirmed by Henrik Zane with evidence that we find convincing. Some components of the Tesla Semi have been spotted in the factory parking lot, including one short fairing, some crates with leaf spring assemblies specifically for the Tesla Semi. There are around 16 crates. Alongside them are axle housing wheels and tires. All these components are known to be completely new, but the tire part is confirmed by the video author to be the same as the Semi tires that Tesla previously stored at the prototype production facility in Milan. Not stopping there, the focus has intensified on three frames that have been completed and stored outside the factory with an additional set of wheels before the front axle assemblies are installed. Previously, the video author had never spotted chassis frames outside the building, suggesting that they're even more inside the building, but they're being moved on to the Tesla semi-assembly lines. Henrik Zaint has also counted approximately 12 Tesla semis parked in the lot, among which there might be some new Tesla semi trucks rolling off this prototype production line and undergoing testing, as well as having missing axles supplemented outside the factory. In contrast, some of them are electric trucks that have been manufactured long before, and they are being utilized to transport components from Fremont to the Nevada factory. Talking about the upcoming new version of semi truck, this version will bring a huge adjustment to both the cabin and the performance of the big rig. Dan Priestley confirmed that Tesla plans to add a sleeper inside the cabin and the Nevada engineers are adjusting the entire space and cabin sites to make it most reasonable without reducing the efficiency of the electric truck. Specifically, the semi's cabin will be extended further back along with the driver's seat likely to be adjusted to the left, similar to other conventional trucks. This seems reasonable since the semi trucks faced quite a bit of negative criticism for its unique driver's seat. Updating the interior of the driver's cabin not only involves changes, but also adjusting operational specs for the sleeper cab version. It may no longer achieve a range of 500 miles per charge due to the increased weight of the vehicle. The gross vehicle weight of 82,000 pounds may also decrease, and the price sometimes may exceed 300,000. Indeed, there are aspects we may need to accept with the new version of the Tesla electric truck. The reason for the introduction of the new version is believed to address the limitation of the current day cab variant. Currently, Tesla only offers a daytime running version for its electric trucks, which has posed limitation for commercial companies like PepsiCo if they want to carry out trips longer than 500 miles for overnight deliveries to more distant locations. While PepsiCo may utilize other diesel trucks in their fleet for longer hauls, the company is aiming to transition to emission-free vehicles with the goal of reducing 100% of CO2 emissions by 2030. Of course, the Tesla Semi remains popular despite its price tag exceeding $250,000 due to this remarkable cost-saving efficiency. So we, when we go into volume production next year. In the United States, the average electricity price is currently $15.73 per kilowatt hour, equivalent to $0.1573 US dollars per kilowatt hour. When applied to the transportation sector, especially with Tesla Semi, the calculation of electricity consumption needs to be meticulously considered. With the announcement of Tesla Semi's electricity consumption being 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile driven, a simple calculation shows that for each mile of operation, the electricity cost to Tesla Semi will be approximately 27 cents. This is a significant figure to consider regarding operational costs and the potential energy cost savings of electric vehicles in the transportation industry. Meanwhile, in the United States, using the current average retail price of diesel fuel at $4 a gallon and assuming a fuel consumption rate of 6 miles per gallon when fully loaded, 
we can easily determine that the fuel cost of a typical diesel truck ranges around 66 cents a mile. Therefore, the production of semi-electric trucks in Europe would indeed be a highly sought-after product due to its flexibility and cost savings. Why has Musk never revealed the price of Tesla Semi? The Tesla Semi has been launched for seven years, and its price is still a mystery. Regarding the price of big rigs, rumors about the price tag of the Tesla Semi range from $150,000 to $180,000 for the two variants of 300 miles and 500 miles, and that could be true, but that's just the story from 2017 when Elon first unveiled it. And of course, these price points have not yet been confirmed by Tesla, so ultimately, it's just a speculative placeholder price. In fact, the price of the Tesla Semi has never increased to $250,000 over the years. But this is actually its original price instead of $150,000 or $180,000 as people think. Think about it. Now, according to the confirmation from Priestley, Tesla Semi Engineering, he said that Tesla only produces the current day cab version with a total quantity of only 100 units, including those delivered to Pepsi. Since there has been no modification, upgrade, or production of more electric trucks, then the manufacturer has no reason to increase prices for semi trucks that are already produced in too small a quantities. A price increase is only possible when Tesla actually achieves volume production or releases a new version, so other than the confirmed $250,000, no price for semi truck is credible. From what we understand, Tesla's confirmed that the semi is not complete, meaning that the day cab models produced so far are just efficiency tests akin to initial generations before Tesla decides on major investments for these big rigs. This means that the Tesla Semi will continue to be produced in more upgraded versions than what's currently available, at least a high-end variant with a completely revised cabin with the addition of a sleeper that Dan Priestley confirmed. So it's understandable that before revealing the specific price of the Semi, this leading electric vehicle company needs to ensure that the final product is done and ready to launch in larger quantities. This requires gathering feedback and experiences on the features and performances of the big rigs as they engage in operations with Pepsi's fleet allowing the manufacturer to address issues to the maximum for the new iteration. Consequently, pricing will also be more easily disclosed. Another reason for Elon's silence on the price of the semi-truck directly relates to Tesla's long-standing market strategy. You need to understand that the more mysterious something is, the more people want to uncover it. This is precisely the approach Elon consistently applies to all his models to make everybody curious about his EVs. Currently, the Tesla Semi plays a significant role not just for PepsiCo's fleet, but also frequently undertakes the task of transporting shipments of Model 3s and Cybertrucks from the factories. Instead of relying on diesel trucks to deliver their electric vehicles, Tesla aims to maximize efficiency by utilizing its Semi, both to save costs and demonstrate its real-world effectiveness. At this point, the demand for Semi is high, and keeping the price undisclosed helps maintain its allure, especially if its actual price approaches nearly $300,000. Similar to the Cybertruck, the pickup truck has significantly lost its appeal since its high price tag was revealed to the public, resulting in a huge disappointment. The marketing strategy for the Tesla Semi is most evident when recently scenes of the semi truck transporting some new Highland Ultra Red Model 3 samples directly from the Fremont factory emerged. The Tesla Semi was discovered by electric vehicle enthusiasts carrying five refurbished Model 3s, all painted in Ultra Red. Interestingly, the Tesla semi-tractor appeared to be configured to transport only five cars at a time. This number is lower than the capacity of conventional car-carrying trucks that electric vehicle manufacturers typically use, some of which have been found to accommodate up to eight Teslas. Taking into account that in the video footage, the Tesla semi is only transporting five new Model 3s with a total weight of around 20,000 pounds for the five sedans, the semi-truck is certainly operating well below its maximum payload capacity of 82,000 pounds. Although the remarkable payload capacity hasn't been proven, it's undeniable that the semi-speed has been clearly demonstrated as the Class 8 electric truck smoothly accelerates on the road. Elon Musk may want to keep pricing information secret until the time is right to optimize this marketing effect. Keeping the price secret not only creates anticipation and interest from customers, investors, and commercial companies, but also keeps the Tesla Semi from getting ignored even after it's been discontinued. The third reason is much more important when manufacturers such as Volvo, Nikola, Peterbilt, or Freightliner are in turn investing heavily to release newer electric trucks than the Tesla Semi. At this point, it makes a bit of sense for Musk to keep the price of the Semi a secret because it would limit the ability of competitors to offer more competitive prices. A clear example illustrates the consequences of price disclosure. If Tesla were to reveal the price of the semi-truck at $300,000, competitors like Freightliner or Nikola could easily adjust their strategies to lower prices or optimize production efficiency, causing competitive pressure and eroding Tesla's competitive advantage. 
For instance, the Freightliner eCascadia or Nickelodeon tray could both be reduced from $300,000 to as low as $250,000. Furthermore, price disclosure could also pose challenges for Tesla in maintaining high stock profitability. The semi-truck has always been seen as a stock booster following the initial Model 3 setbacks. The truth is, Tesla's stocks would certainly decrease if the semi's pricing information fails to satisfy the majority. Therefore, keeping the price secret could be a crucial strategy to help Tesla maintain its leading position in the heavy-duty electric truck market. Competition in the Class 8 electric truck manufacturing industry is becoming increasingly fierce, and Tesla aims to maintain its advantage. By keeping the price secret, they can prevent pricing information from falling into the hands of competitors, avoiding unhealthy competitive measures. Elon Musk is also considering a long-term pricing strategy for the Tesla Semi. Revealing specific prices would have various impacts on the market and competition. He wants to ensure that pricing decisions are made thoughtfully and in line with Tesla's global strategy. How crazy is it that the Tesla Semi model got copied? China has become famous for its meticulous copying ability, sometimes leaving us questioning which product's official and which one's the copy. Comparisons between the Model X and Xpeng G3, Tesla Bot, and Kepler 4Runner as well as the recent race between Tesla Semi and Windrush truck are just a small part of a world bewildered by replicas and clever imitations. It's crazy that even Tesla's giant electric truck cannot avoid the Chinese manufacturer's so-called inspired action. It can be seen that this Windrush truck is 80% similar to the Tesla Semi, with only a slight difference in the headlights and without the two giant mirrors. The first Windrose truck is aiming for a range of 380 miles with a gross weight reaching 98,000 pounds, an insane total weight compared to the Tesla Semi's 82,000. Like the Semi, this replica is also equipped with an 800-volt high-voltage fast charging platform, allowing the truck to be charged quickly without affecting operating efficiency. According to Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Halsalsen, while the Tesla Semi drew inspiration from Japan Shinkansen high-speed train, enabling it to achieve an ultra-low drag coefficient of 0.22, the Chinese electric Windrose truck is equally impressive with its achieved coefficient of 0.2755, the lowest among heavy-duty trucks in China according to publicly available data, resulting in a significantly reduced energy consumption. The Windrose truck has redesigned its chassis, drivetrain system, battery system, and made slight exterior modifications after being based on the design of the semi, while also providing ready-to-deploy level 4 autonomous driving systems. However, the interior of the Windrow still seems to be a meticulous copy as it positions the driver's seat in the center, just like the Tesla Semi, a detail that sparked discussions about the safety of Tesla's electric truck. Under the maximum load of 98,000 pounds, the heavy-duty electric Windrow's truck has undergone energy consumption assessments, driving performance evaluations, air conditioning functionality checks, and the capable to handle extremely high temperatures of various components. Moreover, the Windrow Zero Emission Trucks demonstrates the ability to climb slopes, drive, brake, regenerate braking, and utilize an 800-volt high-voltage charging station under extreme temperatures ranging from 43 to 48 degrees Celsius. Additionally, Windrow's has demonstrated that the compression and air tightness capabilities of its various systems can effectively handle prolonged altitudes ranging from 2,800 to 4,700 meters. Even more startling information related to the Tesla Semi replica is that global automotive supplier Borg Warner is whirling out a new ultra-high-speed 960-kilowatt EV charger, capable of charging the Windrose electric truck in approximately a half hour. It's known that the current Tesla Semi uses 750-kilowatt megachargers, enabling it to charge from 0 to 80% in 40 minutes. Borg Warner developed this 960-kilowatt charging station through a specialized team in New Energy in China and they are liquid-cooled, which suggests that customers could charge the Windrose truck even faster than they could charge their Chevy Bolt. The new, quite nearly megawatt truck chargers are part of a pilot program between BorgWarner, Windrose, and the global real estate firm Goodman Group that aims to add EV charging infrastructure for electric long-haul trucks to Goodman's properties in China. Wen Han, founder, chairman, and CEO of Windrose, admits that making megawatt charging a reality is a huge challenge, and he's leaning on his established partners to help. As a young entrepreneur in my early 30s, I'm deeply respectful of the enormity of our vision of bringing zero emissions long haul trucks to China, Europe, the US, and other parts of the world. We recognize that we can only achieve this by standing on the shoulders of giants. Thus, truly fortunate to be working with industry leaders such as Decathlon, Goodman Group, and Borg Warner. The first fruits of Borg Warner Windrose Pilot Charging Station project will appear at Goodman's CityLink property near Beijing. 
The properties claim the 960 kilowatt station will enable Windrose Truck's massive 729 kilowatt battery to add 248 miles of range in just over 30 minutes. That's possible due to a pair of liquid-cooled charging terminals that can support dual-gun single-vehicle high-power superfast charging with a single-gun maximum output of 600 amps. As for the Windrose truck itself, its 729 kilowatt hour batteries are poorly good for more than 600 kilometers of range on a single charge with a full 49 ton GBW. The company shown concepts, some rendering, some mules in long haul, severe duty and dump body configurations. And while it does look superficially like a Tesla semi, it's the central seating position system that's been the source of most vocal copycat accusations. Regarding the Tesla Semi, Tesla's Senior Director of Truck Engineering, Dan Priestley, previously noted on the X social media platform that electric vehicle manufacturers have been using Tesla Semi as part of their operations for several years. He pointed out that Tesla Semi fleet has transported over 20,000 battery packs from Giga Nevada to the Fremont factory. He also claimed that the Tesla Semis are running the same routes and carrying the same payload as the company's conventional diesel trucks, but with lower operating costs. In the fierce competition of the heavy-duty electric truck market, maintaining secrecy about the price of the Tesla semi-truck could indeed be a smart strategy to sustain its leading position. This way, Tesla can control information regarding its production costs and profits. So, what are your thoughts on the Tesla semi resuming production after a long pause? And what do you expect from the upcoming versions of the electric truck, particularly in terms of their pricing? We appreciate your thoughts. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching our video. If you did, please hit the like button and join your Tesla Car World family by subscribing to the channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.